Good evening to the faculty, alumni, students, and supporters of the UNLV College of Fine Arts program. I'm Nicole Dalton, a former UNLV student and now a principal at DSAA here in Las Vegas. When I first learned about Denise, I was a student at UNLV in the School of Architecture. I was fascinated by the way she described my city, the city I grew up in and the city I still love so dearly. Denise said, so often architects design for spaces without picturing anyone inside, which she referred to as aesthetic arrogance. As an interior architecture student, this statement resonated with me and made tremendous sense to me, so much so that it inspired me to go into hospitality design right here in the city that I love. It was over 50 years ago that Denise Scott Brown first came to Las Vegas. Since she was four years old, she had a deep love affair with neon. So in 1965, while making her way across the US to teach at Berkeley, she decided to stop in Las Vegas. Her first visit in 65 prompted her to visit four times shortly after, and then again with her husband, Bob. She wanted to study the signage, the planning, and the interaction of people in Las Vegas. She once said, what's considered ugly must nevertheless be examined and understood. These visits to Las Vegas, combined with her studies of our city, inspired her to co-teach a studio at UCLA and Yale titled Learning from Las Vegas. Our city has always been an inspiration to others. Las Vegas has been described as one of the hospitality capitals of the world, a place where people can play out their fantasies, dine at world famous restaurants, and be mesmerized by the lights illuminating this dark valley. But there are also those who come to this city to learn from it, to study its culture, and to see its beauty, or as Denise had said, to recognize its ugly beauty. The beauty that shows through in the daylight, the true beauty that isn't masked by the flashing lights of the strip, the beauty that only comes from a culture deeply rooted by a cowboy city transformed into an entertainment capital. As a casino designer, our goal is to create beautiful yet functional spaces for masses of people. Not only are we tasked with making the interiors beautiful, but we also want to make the customer feel beautiful. This leads to more Instagrammable moments, more time spent at the tables, and ultimately higher revenue for the casinos. It is important to remember every type of beauty when designing these grand spaces, especially the beauty that comes from our local culture. Our city and our lives are shaped by special visionaries that we may never meet, but who inspire us to create, design, and become successful in our everyday lives. I am deeply honored and elated to have been asked to introduce Denise Scott Brown, because like Denise, I love our neon-filled city with its beautiful blue sky backdrop. It's one of the most fascinating cities I've ever been in. I loved growing up here, and I'm still learning from Las Vegas every day. I am grateful for the research and contribution that Ms. Scott Brown gave to the architecture community. So it is with great pleasure I'd like to introduce Denise Scott Brown.